Hello everyone, welcome to this special CUBE conversation. I'm John Furrier, host of the CUBE here in Palo Alto, California. We've got a great deep dive conversation with Monty Cloud, who we were featuring on our AWS showcase of cloud startups, uh, Venkat Krishnamachari, who's the CEO and co-founder. Great to see you again. And Candace Hendricks, delivery architect at Green Pages, a partner customer. Great to see you. Thanks for coming on. As always, CUBE conversations are fun to get the deep dive. Great to see you. Uh, great to have uh, have this opportunity, John. Thank you so much. Uh, Candice, thank you for joining us. Uh, it's been a pleasure working with Green Pages. John, we're looking forward to this conversation today. Yeah, one of the things I'm really excited about that came out of our Cube on Cloud Startups AWS Showcase was you guys talking about day two operation, which has been kicked around, but you guys drilled into it and put some quantification around the value proposition. But this is every company has a day two problem, an opportunity. And they usually are problems and <laughs> most people see, uh, but they're really opportunities to create this value proposition around something that's now going to be an operational um, standard table stakes. So let's get into it. Take us through uh, what you guys have with day two operations. Let's do a deep dive on this, take, take it away. Thanks, John. Uh, John, we'll do a little bit of an involved conversation today. We'll switch between a little bit of a slide and um, we are actually happy to show a quick demo as well. So our customers can, uh, what they see is what they get kind of demo. Um, so uh, to give a quick background and context, uh, day two operations in the cloud are important for customers who are trying to get uh, self-service provisioning going, standardization going, uh, have a way to help their developers move fast on their innovation. What we are experiencing now is developers are increasingly having a seat at the table and they would like their infrastructure architects and infrastructure solution providers to enable them to do things that they want to do with fewer friction points. What day two platform that we built does is, it upskills our IT teams so that they can deliver uh, what the developers need so that uh, the sandbox environment that they want comes to life quickly. And on top of that, developers can move fast with their innovation with guardrails that are in place. The guardrails that our IT administrators, IT leaders are able to set for developers include cost guardrails, governance guardrails, security and compliance guardrails, uh, you know, bot-based approach to getting out of the way of the developers so they can move fast while the uh, technology provides them the air cover to go innovate without uh, running into the common cloud problems such as cost overruns or security or compliance challenges. Today I'll go show and tell a little bit of all of this and then we'll bring in partner, our partner Candice as well so that she can talk about how we help the Fortune 200 uh, innovate uh, faster with our platform. Awesome, well, let's get into it. I, you know, as you know, I, I think that day two operations is really a cloud uh, lingua franca what's going to be part of everyone's uh, operational standard. And it's not just for making sure you got cost effectiveness, but innovation strategies that rely on cloud, they need to have new things in place. So take us through the show and tell. Great. Uh, let's switch to the slide deck here. So I'm going to give a quick background and we go from there. Great. So, uh, uh, you know, Monte Cloud is an intelligent cloud management platform company. We help customers of all sizes. Uh, we are an AWS partner that is uh, a cloud management tool competency partner. Super happy to be innovating on the AWS platform for the AWS customers. Our platform is an autonomous cloud operations platform. What our mission is, we empower IT teams to go deliver to their developers and become cloud powerhouses. Uh, I'm going to go through a quick three sections of the Monte Cloud platform that delivers value to our customers. First, with our platform, without needing additional skill sets or hiring uh, or without needing to hire, a, you know, hard to find talent or having to use third party tools, our customers can use AWS native solutions to achieve full visibility into their cloud environments. They can enable consistent self-service deployments and simplify them. They can also reduce the total cost of cloud operations all in just a few clicks. Uh, I'm going to show and tell uh, what customers get. Quickly moving into the slide, where customers can get visibility into the footprint, a comprehensive security posture management, a compliance posture management, click away and solve these problems. They can enable their innovation teams with operations ready environments that can provision anything from server-based workloads to serverless workloads, to containerized environments, all of that are available readily in the platform. And of course, uh, all of this can be done with few clicks and no code. That's our platform in a nutshell. 
I'm happy to switch to a demo from here on, John. How does that sound? Great, sounds awesome. Let's get the demo. Uh, thanks for the overview, by the way. We cover that in a great video too, at a high level um, in our um, AWS show, Startup Showcase. People can check that out online, um, check it out. But let's get into the demo. Sounds good. So I'm going to switch to my laptop again here to show the browser window and go into the demo environment. Great. So this is MontyCloud.com. Uh, customers can go to app.montycloud.com. I'm going to move fast in a demo environment, show and tell here. Uh, customers click login, assuming they have signed up for the platform. It's free to sign up. Uh, the platform activates immediately. This is their full first run experience. Uh, customers can get started in about a couple of clicks. There's a welcome screen here. They can walk through this. What this provides is a way, a guarded experience for customers to be able to gain continuous visibility, security, compliance, and uh, set up their cloud operations uh, environment in just a couple of clicks. So in this case, customers can get continuous resource visibility. They click next. From a security point of view, we'll assess about 20, 220 plus security best practices and customers can select saying they would like to remediate the issues. We'll help do that. That's a bot based approach that does it. Uh, click next, compliance, uh, similar situation. We do compliance assessments in the platform. Customers can remediate it. Uh, click next, we have provisioning templates. John, we had a really good conversation yesterday about this a whole set of uh, well-architected uh, templates that customers can click and provision anything from uh, basic core networking all the way up to high performance computing environments. They're all is available in the platform. Again, click next to go select that. Customers can manage servers, Windows or Linux servers running on any cloud, could be hybrid cloud, uh, you know, Azure, AWS, uh, GCP. Again, we can manage them in a single uh, interface. And last but not the least, application management. Our uh, IT operators and leaders want to have a position on how their cloud applications are performing. They want to react quickly to it. That's possible with their platform. Uh, that's it. They've selected all the features, all the features should be more free in the platform. Some features are available in the free trial. Customers can click and say they would like to try for 14 days. That's all. So click next, platform sets itself up. This is how quick we can get to helping customers understanding what they need to do. I'm going to try and uh, show if I can uh, go to the next screen here. Uh, say this is my company name. Uh, so I'm going to enter some details here that uh, helps uh, capture some basic information about uh, our customers' uh, departments. Uh, let's say this is a demo account, or I'm going to say uh, HR um, uh, account. Let's say there's a human resources department that I'm trying to connect and manage their cloud environment with. Click next. And that's it. They connect to the AWS account. We now take our customers back to an AWS console where their familiar interface, they're going to click next on this cloud formation stack here, which automatically starts creating what we need on the customer's account. I click, click a button here. It's going to run in the background. What my platform, in this case, my view, the other view does is, uh, it instantly receives notification back from the customer's account. As you can see now, day two has recognized that, hey, the customer is trying to connect the cloud account. It's a question, do you want to manage these regions? We can manage 15 plus regions. Click next. Uh, that is pretty much it. Uh, I'm going to skip this one so that we can get to the dashboard. I'm going to skip this as well because you can invite your team members uh, you can get weekly reports. Uh, long story short, that's it. About 10 clicks, we are already in, in a cloud environment where customers can begin to manage, operate, and start taking control of the cloud footprint. Got it, and there's a, you, you skipped over the collaboration feature. That's for what, team members to kind of see the same dashboard? It's a great question. Uh, our customers can invite additional team members. Could be an executive who wants to look at uh, the total cost of cloud operations, uh, they could invite another team member who wants to be enabled only for certain parts of the platform. Very simple, we have SSO yeah. integration as well in the platform. So uh, invite additional users, start using day two in less than 10 minutes. No additional uh, you know, configuration required. You know, Amazon's got that slogan, always day one. You guys are always day two. Always we day are two all, about, all about ensuring day two is taken <laughs> care. Awesome, great stuff. Candice, what's your take on this? How do you fit in here? Part, talk about the, what it's like to work with these guys. What's, the, what's your perspective on this uh, new Monty Cloud Day 2 operations dashboard? Hi, thank you, John. Hi, Ben Cat, 
thank you very much for the introduction. Um, basically, our interaction is collaborative and we're great team partners and we work well with, with Monte Cloud often and, and have been partners working together for quite some time in solutioning products for our clients. Great, Venka, you want to uh, chime in as well and share some color commentary yeah. on um, your partner's value? Sure, sure thing, sure thing, Tom. So, uh, so Green Pages, uh, they offer cloud services and a whole suite of uh, you know, uh, solutions to their customers. Some of the customers are ranging from Fortune uh, 100 enterprises uh, to a wide variety of customers. Perhaps we can actually switch over to a slide deck here. But Candice, if you're uh, up for it, maybe we can walk through a uh, little bit about Green Pages and the solutions that we implemented. We can talk from the customer point of view, which we think will be more beneficial to our audience as well. Yes, thank you. That's very helpful. Um, again, my name is Candice Hendricks, and I'm a delivery architect here at Green Pages Technology Solutions. And what I'd like to do is share a few examples of collaboration that we have achieved through our partnership with Money Cloud. First, to give a bit of history of Green Pages, we've been in business since 1992. We maintain a wide range of customer base, um, approximately 500 different uh, customers in all different workflows from insurance to government to um, uh, manufacturing and the such. We've also made the CRN Tech Elite 250 list for a uh, since its inception in, in 2011. And basically what that is, is it's all of the companies in, or the top 250 companies in the U.S. and Canada having the highest level of experience, top of their game, maintaining the highest levels of training and certifications. We also offer managed services, support professional services, cloud readiness assessments and migrations, as well as growing uh, CSP or cloud service provider. Today, I would like to highlight a few innovative projects that we've executed with Money Cloud as our partner for AWS compliance needs as well as um, AWS DR. So this slide first outlines a business scenario that we dealt with with one of our clients to address cost, security, compliance, standardization across a global AWS environment. And the challenge with this was that we experienced was the complexity of the cloud environment and the size of the environment, and how can they stay compliant, optimize costs, and scale. The outcome with the teamwork of Monte Cloud and Green Pages, we were able to achieve all the facets of the challenge, also enabling and, and creating what, what we coined the compliance bot. And what that provided was a platform to easily parameterize some of the um, options such as configurable schedules, configurable target servers, departments, um, options to choose between automated and manual remediation processes in compliance, ability to choose whether that remediation process also uh, auto reboots versus approval-based reboots on um, infrastructure or resources, integrations into a Slack channel for manual remediation approval process, as well as daily non-compliance reporting. The compliance bot also can ensure proper patching, necessary agents, required software versions, and resources um, that they maintain compliance through the use of tagging, Lambda functions, AWS Fleet Manager, AWS Config, and AWS CloudWatch. Uh, another um, opportunity we've had to work with um, Money Cloud in this use case, the scenario that the Green Pages customer needed to solve was the automation of DR to address the requirement of an entire AWS regional failure. Within requirements was a RTO of four hours and an RPO of less than one minute on certain EC2 instances. So the challenge that we had was to develop this solution with only the use of AWS uh, native services, meeting the required RTO and RPO with no custom tooling integration. So with Monte Cloud's assistance and teamwork, what we were able to achieve is what we now refer to as the DR bot. We solutioned the automation to replicate everything from their production uh, environment in AWS 
to the DR region in AWS, such as subnets, um, IP site arranges, LAN IP addresses, security groups, load balancers, and all associated configuration settings. So with the pilot light scripting that runs daily through a Lambda function, we can manage those Delta copies into the DR production or the DR region from production and address any changes that may occur in the production environment. To meet the RPO, what we used is Cloud Endor, which is also a native AWS service, and we used AWS Backup for the more static instances. We then created an integration to send any health alerts in the event of an AWS outage to their Slack channel. Then upon approval, um, they could kick off, through a manual approval process, they could kick off and execute an end-to-end -end failover from production to an AWS region uh, and to their DR region in AWS. Both the compliance bot and the DR bot automations can be ported and variableized for any AWS environment. We welcome the opportunity to discuss this further and assist you in your cloud journey. I hope this explains some of the great innovation that we've been able to work with MoneyCloud on. Thanks, Venkat, for allowing me to speak, and back to you. Okay. Thank you, Candice. This is fantastic. John, last year, you saw, right? The, the challenge with, with cloud operations is there's a lot of moving parts and uh, visibility, compliance, security, uh, you know, all of that. Typically, customers have to write custom code or integrate 10 plus tools suddenly what you know customers we're seeing they're spinning up their own cloud operating teams they're spinning up their own homegrown cloud operations model which in invariably results in more attacks in terms of maintenance tax our platform can do all of this abstract the complexity and put this kind of automation within the reach of customers who are trying to transform their IT departments by clicking away that's the uh, tech that we've built on top yeah, I think that's a great example. I think Candace highlights some of the things we were talking about last time around intelligent applications meeting intelligent infrastructure. And, and, and to your point about operations, this comes up huge all the time in every conversation we're in. And we're seeing it in the marketplace where there's a new operational model developing in real time. You're seeing people, um, homegrown ops, transforming ops. I mean, there's new roles and responsibilities are emerging. And that's just the nature of the beast right now. This is kind of the new normal, that it's not your traditional ops model. It's transitioning to a new new way. This is a great example. Um, do you see that the same way? That's a, that's a great description, John. You're right. There is a model that is evolving that uh, wants, um, that demands more from IT teams and at a runway that is shrinking to transform. And the cloud surface area is growing. How that's exactly where we we come in to uh, help, and uh, uh, we did do a little bit of a deep dive into what the platform does today to talk to our audience uh, so that they can get this value. Thank you for that, uh, you know, uh, uh, depth in diving. Happy to you know chat a little bit more if you'd like about uh, where customers could go and where they can you know uh, get started. Yeah, looking forward to it. Venka, thanks for coming on. Candice, thank you very much for sharing um, Green Pages. Congratulations, love the DR bot. That's phenomenal. <laughs> I mean, I, I'm on a cube bot. You know, just do these interviews with bots, but um, looking forward to having follow on conversations. Venka, we're going to certainly thanks. see you out on the internet, on Twitter, um, maybe get you on our Clubhouse uh, chats. A lot of action out there. A lot of comp people talking about this and you're seeing things from observability to new kinds of monitoring to modern application development techniques that are just evolving in real time. So day two is here. Thanks for sharing. Looking forward, John, and uh, where customers could go to is they could go to uh, monticler.com today. They could get started in just a few clicks. We have a free version of the platform. They connect an AWS account in 10 minutes. They now have the power of uh, the automation that we've built and they can start taking control of the cloud operations in about 10 minutes. So uh, we encourage customers to go try it for free at monticler.com. Uh, thank you, Candice, for taking the time. Uh, uh, this is fantastic to be able to go solve some problems together. Mozzie Cloud, turning teams into cloud powerhouses. That's their slogan. Check them out. I'm John Furrier with theCUBE. Thanks for watching.